Big men are locked in a cage with their heads in a pinnacle, and if they hold out for an hour's time, they'll get a billion dollars. At first, the men were full of fighting spirit. As the steel door slowly opens, a mysterious creature emerges from the darkness. When the men took a closer look, it was a huge prehistoric lizard. They were stunned. Two of the men have decided to abandon the race, and now there are only four of them left. At that moment, the Iquana, faced with the feast in front of them, kept spitting out its tongue, not knowing what to do. They hold their breath and don't dare to move. But the next moment, the Iquana seems to have locked onto its target. The Iquana frantically bites the man's jaw. The man's waves of pain made them wet their pants. Before they could catch their breath, the Iquana charged again. The man gave up the game on the spot. Seeing that the prize money was about to be won, Jack hurriedly cheered himself up, but unexpectedly, the Iquana really came towards him. Its foul-smelling tongue ran across his cheek. The Iquana is about to take a bite out of him, but the man finally gives in and quits the fight. John is the only one left in the cage, and if he can't hold on, he'll win a billion dollars. His companion kindly advises him to stay alive, but the prospect of the prize money fills his heart. Instead of being afraid of the approaching prehistoric lizard, he even screamed at the monster. Then he performed an extremely difficult and unusual maneuver. The man bites the lizard's tongue, and his companions are amazed by the sight. The man won the first round of the prize money. The next day, the men arrived at the bar for the second round of the competition. They took a huge bottle of laxatives in one go. This time the challenge was to endure the convulsions of the stomach and bowels and had to meet a girl for a glass of wine and a cool dance. Before the shit hit the fan, this time it's all about whose anus is stronger. Then the crowd started looking for a target. At first, Jerry was the first to get the girl with his massage skills. But as soon as he was about to ask her to dance, he suddenly felt a terrible pain in his stomach and gave up the competition. Luckily, he lost in a dignified manner. On Tom's side, he got the girl with his eloquence. He was so naive to think that sitting wouldn't be a problem, but what he got out of the toilet was actually diluted. There are only three people left in the final round. Seeing that the prize money is so close, one of them got a bit excited and did a spinning jump. Unexpectedly, the shit in his body spurted out instantly. He covered his ass and ran to the toilet. John, on the other hand, had a fight with one of them. After 300 rounds of fighting, he fainted because of the shit in his body. Among all the people present, Jack was the only one who lasted till the end. To celebrate his victory, he let himself go and pooped on the spot. And then there was only one last game left. Whoever wins will get a billion dollars. Just one day before the game, a man makes an exclusive cocktail for his friends to cheer them up. The man mixes the wine one to one with yogurt, then evenly slices the pineapple as an ingredient. Finally, he took two milky white test tubes from a mysterious box, poured in all the gooey, unidentified additives, and then stirred the mixture in a blender. John then revealed an extremely lewd and evil smile, and when he was done, he thoughtfully served it to his buddies. As they tasted it, the more they drank, the more they enjoyed it, and the more they complimented him on his skill. And so it was that they came to the final showdown. They first had to eat 20 hot dogs to warm up, then drank 10 kilograms of mineral water to rinse their mouths, then quickly put on a roller ball and jumped down the 80 meter hill, then came to the next section where they had to split a watermelon with their heads, then break through the 3000 degree high voltage line, then crossed the bottomless mud puddle, and then came out on a motorcycle to rush up to the high platform, and then sprinted to the lake from the waterfall at the high platform and then drove their kayaks, raced to the opposite side of the lake. The first one to get to the shore gets priority to pick up their gear and arm themselves. Only three people made it to the final round. Each of them has six arrows. If you get it by a bow, you're out. They are constantly weaving in and out of the bushes, trying to find cover. At that moment, a pretty girl was cheering, which made Tom very excited, and reached out to greet her. Suddenly, there's a stabbing pain. And the man stares to see that his hand has been shot through the palm of his hand. And that's how he missed out on a billion dollars. In the end, only Jack and John survived. Just as Jack was about to rush to the finish line, John, who had been in ambush for a long time, immediately drew his bow and arrow on him. But the other man fell down and escaped with his life. Seeing that John no longer has a bow and arrow, Jack rushed to fight back. Unexpectedly, John had learned how to use his empty hand to catch the white blade, and he caught the bow and arrow. While the opponent was still in a daze, John quickly pounced on him with his bow and arrow, directly killing Bifam. 
Just like that, Chong climbed up to the podium with great difficulty and finally got the $1 billion prize money. This is the 2019 American movie by Games. A few good buddies organize exciting games together and the winner will get $1 billion. For the money, they challenge their guts in front of a giant lizard and shat on the spot at a dance party. In the last round of the challenge, the one without arrows surprisingly killed the one with weapons back and won the final victory. This story tells us that perseverance doesn't necessarily lead to success, but not perseverance will definitely not lead to success. I am Zero Sense Film. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.